What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario bringing you, hopefully, yours and my favorite show on the channel. Alright, so on this episode of Fake League Theater, we have ourselves a list. And you know what that means. It's going, it's actually, you know what, to be honest, this list actually looks pretty good. Some of the names on here are just, like, kind of perfect. Alright, like, I mean, it's so perfect that Nintendo might not even think, uh, Game Freak might not even think of these names when it comes to the localization. Um, I mean, you got stuff on here like freaking uh, La Mirada. La, Lama, Lam Armada. So he's like a llama with an AK, bro. I can just imagine a llama looking Pokemon with like some freaking guns on his back or something. I just gotta, we just gotta, we just gotta go through it. I'm not gonna go through the whole list because I don't want the video to be too long. I want to separate it between the new Pokemon and the regionals that, that he has. Uh, and I'm just gonna pick the, the, the best ones. I'm not gonna go through it all. I'm not gonna take a bunch of your time. Of course, uh, if you like videos like this and you want to keep getting videos from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, and do all that stuff YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos on my channel because we are this close to getting the 600 subscribers. We're almost there. It only took me, what, like several years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hashtag dead channel. <laughs> All right, so let's get on into this real quick. All right, so for the starters, um, they have of course Sprigatito, and then they have Mall Mall Leiden Mall Leiden. Now this one looks sounds kind of weird. Um, I was thinking like Dandelion is probably where they're going with this, like Dandelion and Mall you know, like getting mauled by an animal. <laughs> uh, and of course, Lion is also in there. So, cause you know, Sprigatito is a cat Pokemon. So Maul and Dandelion, like a vicious Dandelion. <laughs> you know, it's still grass type though. So then we have, um, Filgaros. Filgaros. So uh, now I'm, I'm sure that Phil feels like referencing the feel a feline i don't know what gu gu would be referenced to fulgur rose but definitely rose is referenced to a rose grass you know plant type but the weird thing is is fire and i mean it's grass and steel now that's weird uh most people have been saying that spring of tea is going to be a dark type or a fairy type grass and steel is a new one all right so then you got foy coco uh and then you have Ojiroko, 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 <laughs> it's O-J-O-R-O-C-O, -O -O, Ojiroko, <laughs> I don't know what that's a reference to, if you're a Spanish speaker, you know, let me know if Ojor is a, 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 a term or a reference to a term or onomatopoeia of a term, but we know that Roko references crocodiles or alligators in Spanish. Uh, and then the last one, Conqueroco, like a conqueror, like a conquistador, Conqueroco. I'm like, okay, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. And it's a fire fairy type, which is kind of like what we got from the leak or the, the quote unquote leak uh, art that we got, uh, what, a couple weeks ago. Uh, now, here we go. Here's, here's the moment. This, this is the moment of truth right here. Quaxley. Aquanard, which does kind of sound like like a, a different way of saying a different word. <laughs> an insult. You freaking Aquanard. It's like an insult you get like a white preppy school. You freaking Aquanard. Aquanard, which is a water flying type. So it goes from water to water flying. And then Geyser, which is a water fighting type. Now, Geyser is referenced to geysers. You know, just like Aquanard is a reference to water and um, like uh, mallards, like ducks. But Geyser, I mean, it's S E E R. So it's like a reference to seer, like you can see like the future. So to me, it will be more water psychic. But he made my prediction overall was that, you know, Quacks was going to be water fighting anyway. So I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, so then next one we have, it looks like there's a flying trio. 
So it is uh, Falcone, which like 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 Al Capone, I guess. Falcone, Tweetu, and Symmetry. Symmetry, and like like a like like Symmetry. It took me a minute to realize what this was because I was like Skim Skim Tree, but I'm like it's Symmetry, like symmetrical. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, this typing doesn't have anything to do with being symmetrical. It's it's flying and poison, which I'm not quite sure we have too many flying poison type Pokemon that I can think of off the top of my head. But it's an interesting combo for like the regional bird. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, because uh, poison's biggest weakness is ground. All right. It's ground and psychic. Uh, ground and psychic. And it's, and steel are, are immune to poison. And other poison types are immune to poison. But with a flying type, it means that one of the biggest weaknesses to poison is irrelevant. Uh, so then we got uh, two two more new Pokemon. We have Sigint and O oh Lord. <laughs> Literally just O oh Lord, <laughs> and they're water dark types. So um, Sigint is kind of like a ring, like a Sigint ring. I can't think of anything from the water or, or the, from the ocean that would be related to the word Sigint or any part of the word. And oh lord would just be the response to seeing a water dark type Pokemon. Oh lord, I'm about to die. <laughs> Alright, so then we got some more new Pokemon. This one's right here is cool. Get Google. So it's gonna be like a gecko, right? Get Google. And then look, the 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 the, the, the get Google evolves into surveillance. <laughs> Bruh, surveillance? <laughs> I was like, yo, bro, there's two man, Nintendo wouldn't do that. Gay Freak wouldn't wouldn't take shots at Google. But still though, go, get Google evolves into surveillance. And it's a psychic type too. So they know what they was doing. <laughs> they know exactly what they was doing. Oh my gosh, bro. Surveillance. Oh, uh, S U R V E I L I Z. Surveillance. <laughs> then the next one is kind of more Japanese flavored. So this one is Gen Geno Roto, Ruto, Geno Ruto, kind of like Naruto and Gino. So Gino Ruto, and it evolves into Generai. So like General and Samurai, but it's not a fighting type. Is not a fighting type. I'm like, what's up with these types? Like, why is this electric type? Uh, uh, electricity don't have nothing to do with, with generals and, and Naruto and none of that stuff. You know, oh, uh, well, I guess generator, you know, so I guess that would be a reference to electricity. But I mean, how are you gonna do the Naruto, ninja, samurai, you know, uh, reference and then just, oh, it's a generator, it's electric type. And then, of course, probably one of my favorite Pokemon from this jump, uh, Llama Rata. All right, so why would there be a Llama Pokemon in a Spanish-based region? Well, because the Spanish Empire wasn't just Spanish. It ruled most of South America and Central America and Southern North America. All right, and where do llamas live? Central America. I mean, uh, South America. So, of course, there's a very good chance that we get a llama Pokemon in this game. Because, again, you know, llamas are from Central America. I mean, from South America. All right, now we're getting into the regionals. So, we've got some regionals. So, we got uh, Dugong as a water ghost type, which, I mean, you know, that could be kind of interesting. Like, somebody killed, like, murdered a seal. <laughs> You know, the seals got murdered in the seal trade, and so now Dugong's a ghost type. Uh, Dunspear uh, is a dragon bug type. So I'm, a gu I'm guessing Dunspear is an evolution of Dunsparce, which that's freaking nutty. A dragon bug type? Okay. And Sudowoodo is just steel type randomly. Like, okay. It went from a petrified tree to just being steel. All right. Uh, so then you have Poliwhirl, or the, the so the Poly line, so Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poly Sage uh, are grass types. So Poliwag is a grass type now, I guess referencing like a a, a grass frog or a toad. Not all frogs live in the water. Some of them live in 
you know, the, the grass, you know, the forest and whatnot. And, of course, Polly Sage is a grass psychic type, so that's kind of cool. Grass and psychic is, is pretty good typing. It's got a lot of weaknesses, though. Like, ooh, bug type. Ooh, I just thought about that. That's a 4X weakness to bug. Ooh, that, that U-turn is going to hurt. That U-turn is going to hurt. Uh, Tynamo. Uh, so, basically, if you don't know Tynamo, Tynamo is the little... Uh, the little like kind of like tadpole pokemon but it evolves into like a big like eel like kind of like weird eel pokemon it's actually pretty cool though it's an electric type uh from like generation five i think <clears throat> of course it evolves into electric and electros but they're poison and dark now which ooh, that, that sounds kind of cool i ain't gonna lie and especially if it still gets levitate, because that was the coolest thing about Electros, was that was an, it was an electric Pokemon that got levitate, so it had no ground weakness. And electro, elect, electric type doesn't have any other real weakness, so technically this Pokemon has no weakness unless it gets knocked down from levitate, you know. Uh, so then we have Bunnelby and Diggersby, and I'm guessing the new evolution of Diggersby, which is Mega Buck, uh, which is, uh, they're all ground fighting. And I think ground fighting is a brand new typing combination. I don't know if there's another ground fighting Pokemon. If there is, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Um, then Dene uh, becomes an Ice Fairy type. So I think I heard rumors that Dene was supposed to be in the game. I was supposed to be getting a regional in the game for whatever reason. Uh, Young Goose. This is the one that got everybody talking on Reddit. So, Young Goose, Gumshoes, and Footloose. <laughs> like, Footloose, Footloose. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yo. They should really do this. And they'll probably get, like, they should really do this, though. They're normal electric types. So, I'm like, I'm not sure where the electric typing comes in. But uh, Footloose, that's, for, that's ridiculous, bro. Uh, and so then the last one is uh, Sandy Geist evolves into Casadastra. Casadastra. And they're just straight ghost types, which is weird that you would take a typing away from a Pokemon and uh, just make him ghost type. I'm like, why? He would be so much better if he was... I mean, Ghost Ground is really good typing. So, you know, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So tell me what you like about these. I didn't do the whole list because I knew this video was going to be kind of long anyway. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what Pokemon that you would you like to see these in the game. You know, uh, tell me that in the comments down below because I like to talk to y'all. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, people, keep it real.